ones. There's one other reason we clean our teeth, bad breath. And that's something no one likes to talk about. No one that is apart from bacteriologist John Tagg. He's made it his life's mission to study those smelly critters in our mouths and harness their power. What have you got here in the petri dishes? This is a Streptococcus salivaria. It's quite normal, quite so palatable. normal smelling breath. Normal smelling, yeah. Yeah, just slightly no breathy smelling. Now we'll try one that yeah. was isolated from someone with rather a bad case of halitosis. Okay. If we just say good morning, bacteria, let's have a little smell. Oh, oh, oh! That's really yes. Dragon's, dragon's breath. breath extreme, right? That dish contained the kind of bacteria that feast on the blood that comes from unhealthy gums. When you open to the world, out comes the odour from those smelly bugs. Another source of bad breath is the bacteria that dwell in leftover food particles. And they tend to live deep down in the sludgy layer on your tongue. Oh, that sounds awesome. Yeah. The sludgy layer. So how do you fix bad breath? Well, plain old boring brushing and flossing is the key. Cleaning away food scraps and keeping your gums healthy. And scraping your tongue will also help. But of course, Professor Tag recommends his own product, Bliss K12, which contains smell-free bacteria that fight the smelly ones. It's all good and well talking about bad breath, but how do we tell if we've got it? You can't right. go... Try to, no, you that can't. doesn't work because doesn't you're, work, adapted, does you're adapted to your own breath. Another way to do it is to actually scrape some of the bacteria from the back of your tongue and then have a little smell of that. Oh, no. But the best method might be the most obvious one. Ask a friend to give you an honest assessment. Ask them, is this pooey? That's two tests in one. A test of real friendship and a test of breath.